Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. Well, what about of all of them? I mean, you, Scott thick Walker. Thick laughter from the audience. Um, <laughs> Scott Walker, would you say? Of, of the, the ones are, who aren't declared, no, I'm Romney Walker's my ticket. Romney Walker. So, you, but last time you were, you said if we elect, if we nominate Romney, we'll definitely lose. And I was right, but. Um, <laughs> well, why will he win this? That time? was two third years times the in charm? advance, and it was because actually four. Well, it was third time. Time was the charm for Reagan. Right. Um, it was because it's very hard to take out an incumbent. And the reason I supported Christie back then, and I don't now, um, was because, you know, he's so flashy and, and idiosyncratic that we probably were gonna lose, but the only shot we had was this wild idiosyncratic guy. I think um, Rodney would crush Hillary. I would do anything for Though Trump Though if you ran, Christie. Trump Christie. If you ran Bernie Sanders, it would be much tougher. <laughs> Bernie Sanders? It would be much tougher to beat him than Hillary. You think would be a better candidate than Hillary? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, because he, he would cares excite about the, base. the American middle, or right. middle class, working class. Hillary doesn't. She's like the Ooh. elected Republican. She cares about the Chamber of Commerce. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Reactions panel? <laughs> I think. It's going to well, be Marco Rubio. <laughs> Well, you think it's going to be Marco Rubio? I think Marco Rubio has got the best chance. And if you saw the announcement he gave, which followed a couple weeks ago, followed Hillary Clinton's stark contrast. You know, he talked about yesterday, a candidate from yesterday gave a speech about yesterday. I think Rubio has the, the charisma, the sort of freshness. He's Hispanic. He speaks fluent Spanish. <laughs> That's not nothing. He's Cuban. But he uh, speaks right. fluent no, Spanish. No, I understand that, yeah. sure, as, as they do in Cuba. Um, <laughs> Ted Cruz, are, are, Ted Cruz doesn't speak Spanish. Are Cubans by the way. also rapists? I, 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 <laughs> no, they're good. I think they're good. No, they're good. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I don't get this fascination with Rubio. I really, honestly, don't. What is his qualification to actually be president of the United States, other than that he fills a demographic well, what, hole for your party? He's more qualified than Barack Obama. In what way? He was a speaker of the House In of Florida. He was a speaker of the House of Florida. He passed immigration reform. He's a bipartisan immigration. He passed it, bipartisan immigration all reform it took law. For him to he passed against it? immigration reform. He, was for Russia. he helped, he his helped lead him, it. and he changed his mind. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, he wait. fought hard for wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. He, 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 he passed it in the, in the Senate. Senate. In the Senate. Yeah. Right. And then he ran. He, he, is, he is a U.S. Senator. That's not passing it. He passed it in the Senate. That's nothing. It's also like the. You know how a bill becomes a law. Yes, I am aware. Okay. He did, then he didn't pass did, it. Did Barack Obama champion immigration okay. reform when okay. he was in the I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I think. Like he didn't pass it. Second lieutenant I think. on the Titanic. I think, I think that... <laughs> exactly. You don't like Rubio. No, I mean, all he's done, I mean, first he violated his pledge. He ran saying comprehensive immigration reform. And that's amnesty. I'm against it. He gets people to vote for him. What do you want to do with the 15 three million? Three years. What do you want to do, though? Me, still talking. What do you want to do then with the Then he spends no, no, I, three <laughs> years doing nothing you know but pushing amnesty. <laughs> what do we do? And we know it's not popular, which is why I'd prefer Bernie Sanders to Hillary Clinton, who's now on the side of the Chamber of Commerce. Because you are out of the box. The American people have three times shut down an amnesty in the last 10 years. And it's not because any network or any politician other than, you know, a few very small ones were opposing it. It was the American people rising up and saying we don't want amnesty. So if that's your big selling no, point, I just want to ask you, nope, don't think it's going to get any In all seriousness, right? So I'm, I'm with you. I want, to, I want to secure the border. I think we need assimilation. But if we have 15 or 30 or however 30 million, however many illegals here, what do you do with them if you don't have a pathway to I citizenship? I think it's ridiculous to talk about it until the border is That's secure. That's a cop-out. No, it isn't. Well, what would you... What do, let's, no, it isn't. You secure the border I agree. First, let's secure the, the border. border. And then what do we do? With this? In 1986, well, Reagan passed an amnesty saying, this is it, well, one amnesty, look, we'll have border look, security. Look, look. It was a lie. Then being we got either 12 Ronald, or 30 million. Ronald first, Reagan being against lie. First, reform, do you want the fence. Being against immigration reform is for the status quo. That means we keep the status quo. The fact is we have two million people working in the fields every day in America. They provide us our the food. Now, if I could, if I could, <laughs> and they provide us with food, and we should pay them a decent salary because this is America. 
Number one. Why should it be the number ones two. that live within walking number two. distance? Number two. What about the other number two. Number two. billions of people We are not going to deport our way out of this. Mitt Romney, of course we Rip not, Rip Mitt Romney, got more white votes than any other candidate for the presidency of the United States, and he still got his ass whooped by Barack Hussein Obama by five million votes. Because, because, and so my point to you, Bill, is there's this new American coalition. It's young people, it's gay people, it's Latinos, it's Hispanic, it's people who believe in the environment. And so when I saw Jeb Bush actually uh, attempt to broaden the tent of the Republican Party, he had a diverse group of people, uh, he spoke in English and in Spanish fluently, and he was unafraid. No reason to why, bro- no to reason bro- why to, conservatives you know, can't win Hispanic votes. Yeah, there is. But George W. Bush got four. Like, like there's what? some sort of. We're not uh, with, you know what? You're disease right. Disease on that, the body politic. That's a problem, isn't that's it? That's why they can't. That, and that does hurt. Why but George ask, W. Bush got 40%. Why do Republicans can, have to well, be obsessed can, with winning Democratic constituency? Why don't we, we start haranguing we, the Jack? Still talking. Why don't we start haranguing the Democrats? Why don't you guys try to cut off more of the evangelical Wait. vote? Because you are losing with that. That's forty percent of America. Why, may I, may I Why don't you get the gun owners? With one thing that that Ann Coulter has to say, I think it is absolutely a bit insulting to say that Hispanics are going to like lemmings vote for the Republican Party because your candidate has an O at the end of his why name. Why should they like lemmings? His vote, policies, but why should they, but why should they his like policies, lemmings vote for the Democratic his, Party? Because the policies of the Democratic Party, every no. poll will show you, yeah. most Latinos agree, agree with, with the policies right. of the Democratic if they Party. Want the American They're voting dream. their interests. They're voting. The policies they agree they with. Big Marco Rubio Marco turned Rubio's, against his Marco own, his Rubio's own dad bill. Came here look, from if you Cuba, want a Latinos to listen to Republicans, the, the first sign you have to take off is that I don't like you sign. Because as long as I you like have. You. It, I, I get that. <laughs> I but that's you, not, man. But, that, but that's not going <laughs> to win you an election because I'm okay. one voter. But there are millions voter of voters. There are millions of voters out there. And when Donald Trump, and I, I, I find what, this amazing the that called, the Republican the Party America, did not challenge Donald Trump on what he said, on what he said. No one in the Republican Party, right. Donald, Donald Trump, it says, so if Jeb Bush challenges Donald Trump, challenges him and wins and gets through some miraculously, gets through the Republican primaries, I think then Latinos will say, God, that guy championed our cause. He took on the man that called us rapists and murderers and he took him on. And you know what? They will reward him because no, he's won't. open. No, they okay. won't. All right, all right. Let no, me go won't. on to he'll another subject. By, as but as George right. Bush did, he'll lose the Hispanic vote. Six. All right. But you know what? If you get, if you, wait, and by the way, you get, if a Republican gets forty percent of the Hispanic Please. vote, he's the president. No, he is. Right. Yes, he is. No, you need seventy-one percent of the Hispanic vote, and Mitt Romney still would have lost four percent more of the white vote, and he would have won. So what is it? A Republicans fixated on? And I do not think you are speaking for the. The, the, his, the Hispanics in this you're country, right. because they're Mitt the Mitt Romney ones. should have been whiter. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I believe George that's, Bush could I have believe been that's whiter. A, the I think conclusion we've come to. <laughs> Mitt Romney was not <laughs> whiter. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> if the Supreme Court rules against Obamacare, can we count on Congress to ensure that millions aren't left without insurance? Absolutely not. They're not going to. I mean, that Congress is so dysfunctional at this point. But the irony will be, if the Supreme Court rules against the Affordable Care Act, you're going to have millions of red state Americans who will suddenly have their middle class insurance ripped out of their hands, while blue states who went ahead and formed exchanges will still have their insurance. It'll be a crisis for those members of Congress in those red states that are going to be fine from their constituents that, wait a minute, I'm losing my health care? I thought it was just going to be them. And when they find out that it's going to be us, not them. I think it's going to be a problem for the Republican Party. All right. Thank you, panel. Thank you, audience. You were terrific. But we're done.